is better. He's talking about teaching shalos to revert to sorts, sorry, by reversals. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so this is sort of in the common course of genome rearrangement. So one thing you'll do in genome rearrangement is you'll be looking at say, two species, and you want to compare their genomes. We want to get some rough idea of what's happened between uh, yeah, um, it's a rough idea of what's happened between the two and how distant they are. <coughs> and so the obvious way is you can just write down the base pairs as a word. Say so you have something like C, G, 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 T, C. That would be one, which goes on for quite a ways. And you can compare it to the other one. Now let's say it's this. And you might just look at how many positions are they the same. Because that's just the hammy distance between the two sequences. Turns out that's a really bad way to measure the distance because that's not what actually happens in nature. So it's not that these two, that these just change one position at a time. Okay, so the next thing is you might say, well, groups of these make up genes. You might say, well, that's a gene. And one thing that actually they think happens in nature is these genes get rearranged. And so we might think about this rearrangement as being kind of sorting a permutation. So in one species, you might see the genes in the order of 2, 4, 3, 1. And the other species, you might see the same exact genes in the order of 3, 1, 4, 2. And you might wonder, how did we get here to here? And there's a lot of possible operations. But one that people have studied in particular is sorting by reversals. And so essentially the idea is that some segment of these might have gotten reversed. So let's say that from here, the whole segment got reversed. And then they go from here to here. All that had to happen was the first two got reversed. Okay, so this is sorting by reversals. So we want to know. And in fact, one thing you might do is say, well, in one species, I'll just call this one, I'll just renumber the genes. And if that was one, two, three, four, then this would be four, three, one, two, and this would be two, one, three, four. So given some permutation pi. How many reversals are needed to sort it? How many reversals? Okay, so this is, in some sense, a computation problem. Uh, so we want to know, we want an algorithm um, with some kind of runtime complexity in the length of pi that will spit out the number of reversals needed for it. Okay. Unfortunately, this turns out to be NP hard. Okay, so the next thing you might do, instead of looking for the exact answer, you might try and approximate it. So there are approximation algorithms. And those are useful in practice. Okay, but as an enumerative family pluralist, I'm not really all that concerned with what they're doing in practice. And I thought it was much more general to forget about all these things they might actually use. And instead, let's look at the numbers. So we have the number of reversals needed. So I'll make a small chart. Let's do zero, one reversal, two reversal, three reversals. And let's look at the permutations of each link and ask how many there are. So link one, two. Or, and let's go up to link five. Okay, so you could make this chart, and it would look like, well, there's one permutation that takes zero reversals to sort, which is the identity of each link. Um, for taking one reversal to sort, there's none of link one, because we can sort everything to link one with no reversals. And then there's one, three, six, ten. Okay, there's two reversals, zero, zero, 2, 15, 52. And for three reversals, 0, 0, 0, 2, 52. Okay. Um, so, of course, we know the first row. The second row, if you stare at that, you can guess this is a quadratic. And in fact, you can write down this is actually. Um, the way I'm going to write it is this is n plus 1, choose 2. How would we get there? Well, instead of thinking about sorting permutations by reversals, 
we might go the opposite direction. So we, we're going to start with the identity and work up. So we're going to generate permutations. Well, the identity, if I were to draw 